Forget everything you thought you knew about Winnie the Pooh, because this story is the exact opposite. Here, Christopher Robin leaves for college, abandoning the animals in the Hundred Acre Wood. With no human companion, they quickly become feral. Years later, Christopher returns to the woods with his fiancée, Mary. Unknown to him, his friends are now dangerous, and throughout the movie, they go on a murdering spree. Here's our list of the most brutal kills shown in the film. You'll need a strong stomach for number one. Number 10. Christopher Robin is excited for Mary to meet Pooh, Piglet, Tigger, and Eeyore. He takes her into the Hundred Acre Wood, hoping for a happy reunion. Mary points out that the place looks abandoned and unsafe, but Christopher tells her there is nothing to worry about. They enter Christopher's childhood home. where they hear a creepy noise and immediately hide, waiting there until nightfall before they finally take their leave. Suddenly, they are ambushed by Piglet, who looks feral and demented. He strangles Mary with a chain, squeezing tighter by the second. Christopher is in tears, begging him to let her go, but Piglet doesn't stop until Mary is dead. Her lifeless body is propped on the hood of a car. She has a look of terror and disbelief in her eyes. Number nine. Tina is on her way to meet her friends for a getaway in the country when she discovers she's lost. She stops at the edge of the Hundred Acre Wood to call her friends for directions, but there's bad cell phone reception. Tina decides to figure it out herself and enters the woods looking around for clues. She spots Pooh lurking afar off who instantly starts to run after her. Terrified and screaming, Tina runs into an abandoned garage. Pooh finds her and rips off her shirt as she struggles to break free. He bashes her head on a nearby wood chipper until her skull cracks and she goes silent. Then with a creepy smile on his face, he pushes her into the wood chipper where she is grinded up and turned to mush. Number eight, Lara is making the most of her vacation by using the hot tub at their residence. She decides to take a few selfies since she's feeling beautiful. As she looks through the pictures, she sees a strange figure in the background. Thinking it is Maria's stalker, she gets out of the tub and yells at the fat freak to leave her alone. Moments later, Pooh and Piglet ambush her and suffocate her until she passes out. When she wakes up, she is hogtied and lying in the middle of the street as Pooh prepares to run her over with a car. She screams for her friends, but no help comes. Piglet holds her down and gives the signal to Pooh, who drives over her face, crushing her skull and eyes until she dies. Number seven, the rest of the girls become aware of Pooh and Piglet when they see a warning written in blood. In an attempt to defend themselves, they split up. Zoe and Alice stay together by the pool where they confess their love for each other and hope they all make it out alive. Piglet ambushes them, and Zoe jumps into the pool in fear, while Alice is knocked unconscious. Piglet begins to attack Zoe with chains, but they don't do any considerable damage. Then he picks up his sledgehammer and wades into the pool. Zoe tries to get out fast, but is too on edge to think straight. Piglet inches closer and closer until Zoe is in range. He swings the hammer at her, and brain matter spills into the pool. Alice regains consciousness just in time to see her friend murder. Number six, Pooh and Piglet capture Zoe and tie her up. Maria and Jessica follow them to their hideout and rescue Zoe when they aren't looking. On their way out, they hear a woman, Charlene, screaming in pain, and they decide to save her too. Her face is all bloody thanks to Piglet, who has been mauling her over and over. When she sees the extent of the damage to her face, she grabs Maria's gun and decides to face the creatures. Piglet emerges. I will make you pay for what you've done to me. And she tries to shoot him, but the gun jams. Who blocks her exit and pours honey on her face as Piglet mauls her to death. Number five. Alice manages to knock Piglet out and tie him up. She hits him over and over as revenge for killing her friends. Using the sledgehammer, she smashes his head in anger and he dies. This is what you did to Zoe. <laughs> Pooh, who has been chasing Maria and Jessica, hears Piglet's cry and heads back to investigate. He sees Alice standing over Piglet's corpse and immediately strangles her. She tries to break free, 
but is no match for his strength. Pooh slowly inserts a machete into her mouth, impaling her to a tree. Number four. In the movie's final showdown, two girls, Maria and Jessica, manage to escape the bloodthirsty Pooh. They make it onto a road where they are helped by some local men in a truck. The men think Pooh is a creep who terrorizes young girls, and they arm themselves with bats and crowbars to take him down. None of their attacks seem to work, however. takes a swipe at Colt, one of the men. One side of his face is torn off and he runs off screaming before collapsing beside the truck. Number three, things get bloodier when the other men try to attack. Tucker takes a swing at Pooh who grabs his arms and breaks it in one quick move. As Tucker lies on the ground screaming in pain, Pooh stomps on his head and bursts it open like a tomato. Then he turns to Logan and slashes his throat before he can react. Seeing this, John runs away terrified. Number two, the girls are even more terrified since the men are unable to help them. They drive off immediately, running Pooh over with the truck, but he doesn't take any damage. Instead, he grabs onto the back of the pickup and makes his way to the front. When he is on the windshield, Maria slams on the brakes and he lurches forward. Maria goes in and out of consciousness as Pooh drags Jessica out of the car and decapitates her, brandishing her head in front of a now awake Maria who watches in horror. Number one, who drags Maria out of the truck, but she is saved by Christopher Robin, who hits Pooh with his car. Christopher helps Maria up, but Pooh doesn't stay sandwiched between the two vehicles for long. He wakes up and grabs Maria again, putting a knife at her throat. Christopher Robin begs him to spare her life and take him instead. But he speaks for the first time, accusing Christopher of abandoning them. Pooh slashes Maria's throat and continues to stab her corpse while Christopher Robin runs into the woods. That's it for our list. Which kills did you find gut-wrenching? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't miss out on our YouTube memberships. You might have noticed that little join button below. When you click on it, you become a member of our channel, part of an exclusive club. So, what do you get as a member? Firstly, you'll get these awesome loyalty badges next to your name in the comment section. It lets everyone know you're one of our VIPs. We'll also give shout outs to our members in our videos because, hey, we appreciate you. Members also get early access to our videos. You'll be the first to see all the new content we're cooking up. And for all you lovers of horror, we've got something extra special. We're introducing the Dark Vault tier, where we'll be posting exclusive videos just for our horror fans. For those who may not want to join, our regular content will still be available for everyone to enjoy. Memberships are just for those who want to take their support to the next level. So if you want to unlock all these awesome perks and join our growing community, just hit that join button below. We can't wait to welcome you to the club. Click the video on the screen to find your next binge or movie to watch.